Well, I'm about to be, uh, I'm all hitched up and about to go on another adventure. Should be a gooder. Find out. Well, maybe you can catch a glimpse of what I got in the back window, but uh, just kind of on my way back. I'm going to stop in at the uh, Sobering Boys there and check out uh, what they're working on and uh, kind of show you what I picked up. Kind of a future project, but it's got a lot of good parts, so I'm pretty happy about that. The motor ended up being a bust, but eh, whatever. I at least got a transmission. We're here with all my gear, but until I pull this stuff out, I don't really go through it. Other than I bought a 26T, and then it came with a whole bunch of stuff. So I had like a Speedway drop axle. Uh, I got like uh, ladder bars and all this stuff for the back came with. So I kind of got to go through it all, but I'm pretty sure I got that. There's a Corvair box that's been reversed. Um, yeah like an underfloor master. Got a, like a lot of stuff. Model A frame. Pretty much everything to build this thing in sort of a hurry, but anyways, this is kind of my way home. Figure I'd stop in, see what these guys are up to. And uh, gonna go from there. Couple little burnouts. So I'm here with Dave and Jeff, Ooh, and uh, nice. these guys are, uh, I guess they're wrenching on this thing. Putting a, making a glass whistly, got a whole bunch of window felts and whatnot. So we've actually got two different sets, so and we have a set for the 67 that we're doing as well. So. Cool. But, uh, this is a cool little hot rod. You haven't seen it since we fatigued uh, it up the box, eh? You haven't seen the interior, right? Nope. I don't remember it. I just remember when it used to be a friend of mine when it was his truck. So there's a lot changed on it. Oh, yeah. So, uh, Denali interior. Dodge center console, which just so happened to fit. Like, perfect. <laughs> but yeah, all this was all, it's all faked in rust. We don't like the patina, but I want Dave to drive something this year, so let's like, just put it together. <laughs> Took All painted. Wheel alignment today. Wheel alignment. Well, we did some bulging stuff on it because it's roll loose. New tires, all four corners. Needles in the back, so you have some uh, possibility of some traction with this thing. Otherwise, it's sideways. Yeah. Didn't have an air cleaner. Cool. Got one of these. Guys. Get the old turbo. Mm-hmm.
Run. <laughs> so what's the old guy going on? Uh, well, Dave's on going 50 there, which we didn't even <laughs> talk about that one. Well, it's been in the background of all your photos. It's, it's clean now. Yeah, Tammy, Tammy did a good job. <laughs> she cleaned it all up. The engine is uh, not so happy, so it's getting pulled out. Putting that other one you had in there? We're gonna put that uh, the one underneath the bag in there now. Yeah. Yeah. This, this one, uh, chrome molly rings, and they didn't seat properly, so it's. Oh yeah. No, no bueno. Uh, customer car. <laughs> this one was found in a in a sea can after 30 years. So we got all the parts for it. Just waiting for the space to do it. It's a '56 Thunderbird. This one's cool. Yeah, this one's nice. This is my, this is up my alley. Interior is just mint in this thing. Well, it was restored. Yeah, 9,000 miles since, since it was restored, and I think it was parked because the rear diff, we found out that the spiders were slopped, so we uh, just roached. Got all that stuff. But all new wide whites for it. <clears throat> and no, you can't have these ones, these are mine. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the parts table. <laughs> But yeah, this one's a 292, the uh, buy block, I guess they call it, right? Yeah. I don't know Fords at all, but. Had it running. <coughs> all these, uh, everything we're talking about here, we've got videos on our channel if you guys want to check yeah. it out. Yeah, yeah, I'll go link these guys somewhere around here. So, so. we got the, the teapot, Holly, vintage. Famous for uh, lighting on fire, apparently. <clears throat> yeah. We got. Uh, Maybe that's a Ford thing. It might be. We'll see. <laughs> we got a new rebuild kit for it. We got uh, all new brakes because this was left open the way it was, and obviously. Yeah, you can see. clean that out. Oh, yeah. easy. <laughs> Looks clean in there. Yeah. Let's run some Dawn dishwasher. <laughs> <dirty. That'll, laughs> we got that. We got a water pump for it if it needs it. We got a new fuel pump. We just kept finding stuff that this guy had collected. This is one of probably eight vehicles that were found, eight or nine vehicles that were found just all of a sudden. Like so. El Dorado, the Mustang, what else was it, the Dodge truck, yeah. uh, hmm. Corvette, we showed you a little clip of the Corvette, you gotta check that out, 66 Corvette Stringray, 427, four speed. So. With, a, with the IP designation, which makes it uh, ultra rare. So. Yeah, uh. so we got that one. I know that's not your thing. But <laughs> that's a good donor, in my opinion. I'll put that one in my Apache. Well, this one I've seen before once, because you were at my place. This is your rear bumper. Yeah, my rear bumper that Mike hates. But <laughs> oh, I can't say I'm a fan either. But Well, that's what I had, man. <laughs> You don't need one on a truck. Uh, yes, you do. <laughs> Only the front. <laughs> yeah, this one's getting some upgrades tomorrow. And then we're trying to figure out a way how to turbo this thing. Oh, you should see Mr. Heavy Chevy. Yeah, I saw what he had done. They had done one. Yeah, I think they, I can't remember which carburetor they use, but. I don't think it matters as long as you don't do blow through. Oh, okay. If you stick it before the turbo. Oh, that way? Yeah. Okay. To check on that. But that's one fella. He'd, uh, yeah, he had built one because I think they had set up a race or did something there. Yep, this guy's. <clears throat> Then you have that in the drive. Well, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I can drive that, but that's, that's Bobo's from Coastal. He can't, he can't drive that one. So. And we got the Nova we got to work on, and we got the Jeep we got to finish. Yeah, hopefully Coastal Auto Reaction can come down here and pick up the truck. It's taking up a lot of room on the air here. <laughs> <laughs> that much stuff on the go. This one's familiar. Yeah, this was my... Uh, <clears throat> My first attempt at a chop, Brent said don't do it because you're not going to finish it and that was four years ago. So, well, let's let's point out why it came to my shop 
Yeah, uh, had a broken motor mount. <laughs> so I decided let's just cut the roof off instead. <laughs> I tried to tell him not to do it, but... Yeah, I don't listen. I'm not opposed to chopping stuff up, but... Yeah, this thing was cherry before we chopped it, though. I just didn't like the roof line, so... It's going to come in soon. Got to get the glass, figure out who can cut the glass for me and all that jazz. You actually almost had to try that grinding disc that I had. That yeah. actually worked really well. Yeah, I'll try that for sure. Yeah, 52 Pontiac, we took what, four, four out of the front, five out of the back. I think it was three because you wanted to run the visor. No, I believe it was four. Yeah. Four out of five. And then the only reason, the only reason this thing got paint initially, like I'm not a paint guy whatsoever, because my hood flipped up doing 120 on the way to be drowning one day. And a week out of the body shop, I did it again. So, so now I got uh, I got hood pins underneath to lock her in place. So I just got a little smart work in it right now. Um, 82 Monte Carlo, full running gear. So. Yeah, need some love. Need to get this back in the road. Yeah, this has had a few reincarnations. When you got it, it had still the original flatty in it. Yeah, it had six. There's oh, no hinges. No hinges. But it's got just a potentially cracked small block in it. <laughs> Somebody left some water in it, right? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what happened. I'm hoping it's just a frost plug, but it's just a little 305 anyway, so I'm yeah. not worried about it. Yeah, they won't have mine though. <laughs> Little 283, we got a Super T10 Borg Warner. This one also has front and rear disc brakes, uh, line lock, hydraulic clutch. Hydraulic clutch, which is really fun to install. You gotta pull the gauge cluster out in order to yep. feed it, which is fun. I think when you were doing it, I was giving you a heads up on that. It's fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good time. <laughs> Highly recommended. Give give it a try yourself if you want. <laughs> yeah, this one's this one's fun. Back seats out of who knows what, but whatever. It's yeah, it's cool, right? It's got a seat. <clears throat> be on a highway near you. Exactly. Cool. Well, kind of did the tour. Can I get you to check these guys out? Again, I'll put a little link there to these guys. It's Sobering Restorations. You betcha. And, uh, Come yeah. check us out. We'd appreciate it. Yeah. Kind of on my way back, so I figured we'd pop in, see what these guys are up to. They're doing more than I am at this point, so. <laughs> Anyways. All right. Well, I'll catch you guys when I get back home. Well, I just got home, so I figure I'm going to just dive right into here. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to pull all the boxes and stuff out and kind of see my bounty. See what I all got there. And I'll, uh, I'll bring it right back in once I get this stuff unloaded. This I'm going to take off tomorrow, but I'm going to pull all the all my boxes out and kind of go through them see what I all got pretty sure I got enough junk to build a car there in a hurry
ride. It may seem weird that I was just going nuts putting everything together. I don't have any plan to build this thing right now, but for me, I like to put stuff together so I don't lose stuff. So now if I hang uh, these rear bars on the wall, I don't have to worry about losing anything. All the parts are together and it's kind of ready to go. So I don't know, it's the way I work. But uh, got the front end all together. So it's got everything, it's like a traditional push-pull style. It's got uh, four like uh, hairpins, but with the bushings on it. Uh, it does have these tabs to go under the frame. Though I'm not a fan, I like a double shear if I was to do this, if I was to use this setup. But uh, yeah, we got this brakes, we got all this jazz. The uh, rest of the disc brake hardware, the residual valves and the hoses and stuff are in there. So that's cool. We got a Corvair steering box, that's a win. Uh, we got power brakes unit. So, like I said, I put it all together. Now, at least if I put it in the shed, I'm not hunting for parts. I know everything's there. I guess this should just bolt to the frame. I don't know. Uh, judging by the cowl is there. That means this thing would be like something like this. These would go under the frame. Then these would bolt up to it. Uh, but like I say, I like to bolt everything together because I was missing the bolts that go for... The, uh, uh, what the heck do you call them? Like the dog bone or I don't know what that is. The pin that goes through. I was missing the nuts on there. So that's like one of those cases that if you use it, it goes and you don't put it together, it gets lost kind of scenario. But anyways, that's together. I can kind of store the stuff now. But we got everything to make a rear suspension. Like if a guy wanted to build a car, a feller could do that in a big hurry. Uh, this frame is actually really nice. Usually these horns are broken. At least my experience. The horns are either broken or this cross member is cracked and broken. But everything's good. And plus I wanted to see what things I would need to buy. So when I'm ready to go kind of thing. So we don't have any U-bolts for the front. We know that. Uh, I don't have like the drag link to go across. Uh, a few things like that. So this is all good. This body's like... Doesn't look like it, but it's super nice. Like the doors open. <laughs> you know, guys asking for a lot, but the latches actually work. Like, look at that. Uh, both window cranks are like broken, but that's not a big deal. I think, yeah, the fuel tank's gone already. The doors open, they close. The rot is very, very minimal. A little bit here like this, that's easy. Bottom of the door is easy, easy. This is the, usually the worst. Usually they rot back here, got a little bit. It's not bad. The uh, trunk lid, yeah, like, man, it's actually a super nice car. It's got a trunk lid. Everything functions with the trunk lid. The deck lid is pretty roached, but we can fix that. Like, oh, it's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this side's actually pretty good. Typical again, bottom of the doors, up in the front cowl. This door, both latches, I guess somebody must have tied it or something. It's excessively tight and they're kind of busted because somebody was probably pulling on. But the latching still works. This is not seized. This is usually always seized on the bodies, I find. I'm super happy with this. I don't know what I'm doing with it. I'm kind of thinking I'm going to recreate the car that I have, my tall T. A lot of people like that car. I think I'm going to make another one like it. I'm not sure. But some of this stuff, I'm, I think I'm going to save for my Model A. Even though I kind of want to go more traditional with the drums and all this stuff. But we'll see. We might make that one a roller eventually. I just basically wanted to go through all my parts, see what I got. Pretty happy with everything. I still have to pick up a rear end. It came with an 8.8 .8 yet. So I don't know if I'm using it with this or not, but yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. But this is just a, I don't even know if it's a quick video. It might be a little long, but I'm gonna leave it at that. I got this going. Now I'm gonna go sort and, you know, put file this stuff in my shed. 
And uh, so the next time I decide I want to do a quick build. I do have the other chassis that I got with that other Model A, so I'm kind of thinking I'm going to use that one with this one, because it's kind of like a T-bucket style chassis. So I think I'm going to shorten it up, stick it under here for a quick build eventually, but that's down the road. That's once I finish this one, or get this one like 90%, or if I burn out before then, I don't know. But anyways, eh. thanks for watching guys, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. See you later.